So hello everyone, you guys might be wondering what's been going on. Um, it's been a while since an update. Uh, the Mini is still being in the process of being prepped for paint. And I've been getting on with another project, which you'll see soon perhaps. Uh, but it's raining today, so I thought I'd get on with the Mini Dash. So let's give you an update of what we've got here, what we're going for, and show you stuff. Yeah, let's put you on a stand so I stop shaking. Because yeah, how are you feeling now? Feeling sick yet? Yeah. Ziggy shot. It's wet. She doesn't like it when it's wet. Just, just, would you, just, come on. There we go. That'll sort of do. Um, oh, cross eyed now. Walnut dash. Classic look for the minis. Uh, it's going for a bit of a retro look inside the mini. Uh, we've got new interior coming. That'll hopefully be here very soon. Custom ordered. So we'll see about that. Uh, this is almost immaculate. I bought it second hand in the box. There's a couple of little tiny bits, but hoping they won't be noticed when you put the kind of buffer bits on the mini. I don't really know how it looks to go in, to be honest. I don't even know how it's going to fit. Um, but here's the plan. I've gone for a two clock one because I'm trying to fit the Ford clocks. I'm probably going to have to cut some material out. And we've got a plastic surround and it will all kind of fiberglass and gel it in and paint it all to make it look nice. So that's the plan with that. Um, because I've got four clocks, not standard mini clocks. I'm applying to Amazon after a 40 minute wait, so let's just get that done. Uh, elsewhere, what are we doing here? Well, we've got a stereo, cheap Chinese stereo for now, but it's ideal for a number of reasons. Let's list them. One, it looks retro. It's quite retro, looks kind of old style. Two, very shallow. So behind here is going to be part of the electronics um, and it's taken up a lot of room. So who uses CDs these days anyway? They, they're nice, all for sound quality and stuff, but uh, my lady, Mrs. Piggy, she'll just be connecting with Bluetooth, which you can do on this. There's also an auxiliary import and a little uh, card here. And they are cheap, so if it doesn't really work, no real loss. It's got the usual standard connections and we won't be running an aerial, so we'll just be her mobile in her pocket connecting and press play. So we're gonna fit that in today. That seems to have fitted, so that's done. Uh, we've got a nice boost gauge, so I wanted to put something in these uh, gauges here. Uh, we've gone for the classic look for these gauges again to try and fit the whole retro look, other than these fancy gauges we'll be owning here from the Ford. So a boost gauge, that is obviously a requirement if you have a turbo. Turbos don't work without boost gauges, keep that in mind. Um, volt gauge, pretty important too, that seems to just fall in. And no retro dash is complete without a clock analog of course, so that'll go in there as well, like that. Right, right, that. I don't know if the cardboard, there we go. Right, perfect. Here's we've got a, a stereo. We want speakers. We've blocked off, if you remember rightly, on the flitch panels, uh, the leaky leaky uh, holy holies. So what we're going for here instead, we've got a couple of uh, kicker uh, three and a half inch speakers. They are tiny, but we're in a mini, and let's be honest, it's gonna be noisy as it is. They are cute looking things, but they are actually very heavy. There's a big old magnet on the back of there, made really nicely, and they're gonna fit real nice into our speaker gaps. Now they don't come with speaker covers, which is a bit of a shame, because they're designed to fit behind stuff and that, all the rest of it, I get it. Um, but it'd be nice to have a, a cover. So I had to take some searching. We went to the old um, eBay of China, and we've got some covers for it. So I think they're actually gonna to have to be mounted behind, and I may actually have to make a slot to fill the gap that is around them, because the sound quality will really suffer if we don't do that. So we'll be popping them in there, speaker cover over the top, Robert Chimamba's brother, dashboard done.
good. Okay, I guess we should sort the wiring out now. Situation report on the wiring, speakers. Uh, we're not. We might add more support here, but we're not sure about the dash yet. So we'll worry about that then. So we're not cutting into anything. The same situation here. Probably another little support there. Speaker to speaker. They go in. They go round. And then we've got light, light, light. We've got a power when the ignition's on. That's a volt gauge. We've got uh, the lights come on with the ignition as well, which shares obviously the ignition live for the stereo. And then we've got a constant live there and a constant live here, one for the stereo, one for the clock. Obviously keep time. So we'll go and get a battery, we'll test them, and then we'll put in a little plug on that to skedaddle it into a nice neat finish. Not too bad, could be better, could be worse. I'll get out when I want, except... Yes, it's very nice. It works, which is very good. Totally safe. We have the digital clock, we have the analog clock, zing zing round and round and round. We have the boosty boosty. And we have the voltage. Oh, not so good. Not so good at the voltage. But it works. Next, clocky clocks. Clocky clocks there. Not so bad. Is there gloves? Oh, I can't open it. Oh, no gloves.